year, we started a bakery project. It's taken us a while to take a video of this place and uh, because of some unavoidable circumstances, sometimes the client is in, sometimes we are not available and blah, blah, blah. Then again, there arose a few issues. Uh, at times when you're doing something, let's say, for example, for this particular project, I wanted to just emphasize when we started this project that uh, most of the times we have been identified with uh, residential projects but all in all from my background in interior design as a designer from the from university and also from my previous working experiences I've also been able to work on commercial projects I've been able to work on uh, corporate projects and I've also been able to work on retail projects and uh, for this particular project I would call it a hospitality uh, project because it's all about uh, bakery and uh, uh, pastry and all that. So when you started uh, this project, this particular entity was not there completely. So we started by clearing the ground, cut away, doing the foundation, then laying the floors, then raising up the walls, then ensuring that we have water, that is plumbing work and other people will call it mechanical then from there we did the electrical piping then we did the structure and the roof and all that so uh, one reason why we didn't shoot this project in december you know this was our first time we were doing a flat roof with a gypsum ceiling under it then came the rains in december and it was pouring day in day in, day out for almost four days and then because of the flood roof, I think something happened and the water was collecting somewhere. And then it seeped through the ceiling and uh, now it tore the ceilings. And we had to repeat the works. But uh, when we went up the ceiling, we noticed that uh, the ceiling was in place. So we did repairs in a place that didn't have a problem. Then a week down the line, it poured again and the same thing happened. Just to come with different people and uh, one of our members or one of our uh, uh, workers that is uh, the guy who does joiner is very good in all, all manner of things so he went up there and he noticed that there was just one specific joint that had not been screwed nicely and that was the cause of all the problems and we repaired it and everything went well and for that reason these are some of the things that are were, were destroyed not really bad but uh, these are one of the reasons that are were making me not to shoot but i've been just uh, thinking and uh, it's been taking too much of of time so i decided uh, actually the panels most of the times when we have these particular effects we will do the repairs we will not charge the clients we'll take responsibility fully and uh, for that particular reason we'll just advise clients that are in the event maybe a socket, a switch, plumbing works or flows uh, from our previous, pre previous project or on the current projects. You think something would happen, just rest, be assured that uh, we are always there and we'll do the repairs, we'll not charge you unless it was caused by maybe the family members or whatever. So these are the panels that are on site. They were supplied, I think, a few days ago. And because of this place has classes, we have to arrange for one particular day and come and do the repairs. And because I'm here, I just start and talk about the structure. So this structure was made as a container. But because of the space that we had, this is a corner plot. It is almost a, a kind of a trapezium. So we constructed a box profile mabatis, created a flat roof. From the outside, you might think it is a container, but in reality, this is a mabati structure. So you create the mabati structure from the outside. After that, you come on the inner side and do your cladding. For this side is actually, this is the perimeter fence. On this side, 
this is gypsum wall cladding and there are some people who actually do their houses in this particular manner then we created the we fabricated the doors and in most cases some people would ask we fabricate we put for you the locks we put for you the glass panels and that is the back door and the front door then the gypsum cladding then we created the flat ceiling and this is meant, uh, meant specifically and again i'll talk about this <laughs> Specifically, I was actually thinking this would help in terms of heat. Uh, most of the times, the Mabati structure, because it's Mabati on the side and it's Mabati on the upper side, on the, on the roof, and the, that is flat, it's hidden on the other side. I actually thought because of the heat, this would really help cont contain the heat. But I also learned something during the process that when you have a Mabati structure and its wall, Mabati, roof, Mabati, it can overheat. And at times now the gypsum is overwhelmed and at times it cracks. So you have to come in and create holes on the side so that uh, in the event of that uh, contraction expansion or maybe because of the overheating, the heat can escape through those uh, vents and then leave your ceiling safe. If not, take your ceiling or take your roof too high and instead of putting the gypsum, maybe come with the thermal foil and that can also save you our river. So, without further ado, I will go back to the design. The design was actually still the same, same process. We come for a site visit and this particular site visit was to measure and see the bare land and to see if it will take up the structure from there we created the flooring and that is levelizing oh no cut uh, cut or clearing levelizing then we did this and now we have done the keka wambao and also we do keka wambao just because this is a temporary structure because the main house is there and uh, from there we raised the walls after the walls we've done the gypsum of the gypsum we've done the ceilings of the ceilings we've done now the artworks just exactly the way it was on the 3d then this artwork was there the floating shelves were there, this counter is there, and basically it is this space is meant to serve a purpose. This is a two for tutoring uh, people or students who are actually taking courses in uh, bakery. I don't know the best term, but I think I'll just call it that you understand. And we created this layout in such a way that um, the teacher would, would stand here and lecture the students on the other side. And when we were doing the when we were doing the design, we actually thought there will be students on the left hand side and there will be students on the right hand side. And in between at times, apart from just uh, apart from just doing the preparation and the learning, you can also have a point in between because these are two separate desks or tables that have been brought together and sandwiched with this panel and on this same same panel we have also created powerpoints so that uh, whoever is working on this whatever probably you are mixing your duff or you're mixing something or maybe your eggs or something okay those items that you use you can just plug in and do your necessary and then we've also created spaces like uh, now this will, will depict something like a kitchen with a counter with the with the with the floating shelves well done this is actually nicely done in uh, natural that is not natural it's called uh, ordinary mdf sandwiched together skimmed nicely to 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 hide the joints and then spray painted in matte finish paint then hung on the wall with uh, uh, angle lines and then also you provided um, this is the uh, maybe uh, we can call it a small kitchenette then a small place for just to show a kitchen space just to bring out that kitchen effect then we give you the sockets we give you the dp the control for the for the cooker then also provided these shelvings the shelvings are made in uh, mild steel spray painted and then with block boards or maybe the MDF laminated as the shelves, then they can use it for putting their display or putting their items. And I like the client because they are utilizing the things nicely and everything just looks beautiful. On the other hand, as on the 3D, we have a dispenser here. We have the floating shelf just to make the space look a bit beautiful and aesthetically appealing. I also acknowledge that the client has gone a step 
ahead and also placed a few things on it and it's really looking beautiful. We've also provided sockets and as you can see, we are giving you proper sockets like this one is cars and um, I don't want to mention names because I haven't been paid for that but I'm very sure Larry will zoom in and give those guys credit. So we painted cornices around. We have lighting and the lighting we've done it in such a way that you can actually control the three lights separately and the three lights on the other side separately and the th two lights in the middle separately and this light for for whatever they are doing, they are maybe they are shoots, they are actually using this as their backdrop. So they can control, reduce the lights they, wherever you want. And anytime they come in, you will come here, they do their presentation or if they are doing maybe like, let's say uh, someone is receiving their cake or whatever for their anniversary, probably they take their whatever here, their videos or photos from this particular point. And that, personally, I think you can take it from whatever angle. Then from there now, this is exactly the way it is on 3D. The light might have changed, but it was there. Then from there, we have created this small strip with uh, grass, in artificial grass. Actually, it was coming slightly on the inner side, but sometimes when you come to, when you have finished the project, you come and realize that uh, probably your proposal might not be as practical or whatever. So the client opted to, create more of the wooden finish on this side and the planter kind of feel on the other side reduced slightly. Otherwise, it was almost up to this level, then the stools were inside. Then from there, again, just for purposes of symmetry and balance, this is on the right, left right hand side of the room and we have the same thing on the right, on the left hand side. Then we have a display, uh, the cabinet on the front side, we have the same display cabinet on the back side. The other one is has a black black back, background with the black whatever, and this one just is giving a completely different feel on a white background. And this we have actually customized. When you go to maybe uh, some of the hotel, like the Best Western, they have something like this on the back wall. It's something that we can do. The doors we've done, We've done all the all the DPs, all these are controlling entities here. We've done the switches, switches are working properly, well done, almost pressed nicely. This is maybe 30, 30, and also on a straight line. I've given you a nice beautiful door. The doors are not shiny. These are matte finished, pre-painted doors that have been carefully prepared. We have a socket for the fridge. This is a double fridge for their wax, maybe for their for their storage. You want they want to do. I'm very sure everyone stores. So this was specifically meant to be here, and it is here. It has a socket. It has a socket behind there for control. Then we supplied the stainless steel a sink, which is a double sink maybe with the hot and cold mixing, and I can see the maintenance has been done properly. They actually clean people. Then we also provided the sliding glass panels, just the same way we had proposed on the 3Ds. One is fixed, actually. I wanted to slide the other one, but not necessary to slide the two. So this one is fixed, it slides, and it actually locks properly. You can lock it nicely, and then uh, you slide because it's a uh, I'm about to structure these windows were very necessary. We did this one purposely for the sink and then we did this purposely so that you can bake from here and this was purposely to have two ovens actually they were meant to be two and uh, I'm told that uh, one is on the way coming but I couldn't wait so this was meant to be there. Then again another window that supplies you with fresh air and that one locks properly. You can see the kind of locks, you can see the kind of aluminium, everything is just perfect and you can open. Then we have a small deep freezer here that they can, uh, they don't know what they store uh, for bakery shops or for, for such as uh, entities, but they have, then you have a three gang on this side, we have a two gang on that side. These three guns control the three lights, then the two guns control the other three, three lights, because this one has been separated into two, and that has, is also here. So that one can be controlled here. The two controls the, uh, the ceiling lights and the two on the other side will control the ceiling light. I don't know if I should take you outside, but I think the better option is Larry will just take the structure from the outside and throw into the video so that you see our capabilities and what we can offer you. So 
we are able to do for you this from scratch. We can also do a house from scratch, only that at times I just feel like, why is it necessary? And there are other people who can do it. I can supervise it, I can design it, I can make sure everything goes the way it, it goes. Then I will come in with my biggest, uh, my biggest uh, energies or my biggest uh, potential which is in interior design and do for you the fit outs and all that so this is a simple space well done and we did it in a record of one month only that uh, we were doing the mabati structure for the first time so we the mabati flat roof for the first time and we were not so much equipped in terms of leakages but up to now i think now i am a brave learned young boy who can know how it goes. So I'll give you options depending on your entity or what is your space meant to do. So even the tables, we fabricated these tables in metal and then the counters. So guys, I just want to remind you that we are not specifically just uh, tied to residential spaces. We can comfortably do your offices even to the highest standards you have never ever experienced. We can do your retail shops beautifully and we can also do your hospitality spaces. So feel free to contact us with those projects and let us transform your space. Guys, ah, 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 ah. how can I forget this? By the way, ever since we made this client, she has or it has been a company friend for sure actually uh we were giving uh one of our former employ employees a uh, farewell party and gina cakes made sure that we had one of the most beautiful cake i've ever seen in this country and for sure even on our pages they are always there to acknowledge our works and today i will not forget to give a shout out to Gina Cakes and also you guys please subscribe to, your, to their IG page and also don't forget to follow them up and give them business in whatever anniversary or whatever sherez you might have remember them and at that particular point I would still remind you do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and on our social media pages at Kitidirius, where style meets elegance. Thank you.